Hey YouTube, how's it going? Oh man, it's been a while. Um, I'm out here at Keeney Park on a rainy day, but the rain's not supposed to last. There is no one here. I think there's four guys on the golf course and I'm the fifth, so that's good news. Um, we're gonna uh, play around and vlog it. Haven't done that in a while. Okay, I'm over here on the 17th fairway. Uh, yeah, that's the biggest slice I've hit all year. Um, you could tell it's 17 because they added this really nice feature. Um, not sure the word you would call it. Um, not a bunker, not a hazard, ground under repair. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, pretty cool feature. Yeah, that's the biggest slice I've hit all year, but you know what? I got the whole right side of the green aim at. That's coincidentally where the flag is. So I still have a birdie opportunity here, even though that was embarrassing. All right, we've got 140 yards. I'm gonna use a nine iron here. My nine iron usually carries about 145. Little bit deep. All right, I got myself a birdie putt off the worst drive of the year. I'll take it. All right, that's what I have left for birdie. And that's why it's so important to know your distances. I knew that from back there on 17, I had 141 yards. I knew my nine iron carried 145. And boy, that looks like it's pretty much four yards, about a 12 foot putt. All right, let's see if I can make it for birdie. I probably won't. Oh, 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 oh. Nah, that was a little bit of a tug. I honestly wanted to play that at the edge. I pulled it a little towards the middle. My ball hit right in the middle, but you can see it's a big slope going down this hill. So I hit the slope. Roll down to the flat stuff on the bottom. It's pretty wet down here. All right, second shot. I'm going with the three wood. I know I can't reach from here. It'd be about a 280 yard three wood. Don't quite have that shot in my bag at this moment. But right over the sand, maybe a little draw. Maybe I'll have like 50 yards in. hit a little fat right in the middle of the fairway but not the best strike I'll end up having about a hundred yards but hey know your misses that's not bad for me where my second shot landed getting ready for my third shot I'm not gonna play out of this stuff middle of the fairway like I said a little bit more than 100 yards I know this is winter rule so I'm gonna bring it over here this dry stuff and I probably have about 110 yards. Swing right there, should do it. Oh, a little chunky. It's gonna come up short. Just put it out there and hope it comes back to the hole. Firm up the hill. Well, that's another tap in par. say here on uh, 136 so it's probably playing 125 yeah definitely a pitching wedge no wind today let's go with the wedge just right of the flag stick in case I do a little tug draw just right of it drawing in really nicely I might get a hole in one. Oh my gosh that is not a hole in one but that is about a seven to eight footer for birdie. Seven or eight feet, right? Yeah, not quite there, buddy. Let's round that up to about 20. Firm up the hill. Uh, three inches, too firm. Didn't really give it time to break. Little tester coming back for par. 
I'm gonna go very straight with this one. Oh wow, I tugged it. That's a bogey. All right, I got pretty lucky. There's this big tree here on four that I like to aim at and hit a little baby drawback into the fairway. There's a guy kind of walking pretty close to here. And for whatever reason, I still hit. Like just one of those stupid things. Um, one group on the course and I managed to almost kill a guy. Um, luckily, I don't have any overhanging branches where this ball ended up. So I got real lucky. I'm not tripping a butt. So back-to-back -back bogeys. I'm not exactly upset with myself over it. Um, one was just rushing a putt that I didn't need to rush. And one was a really poorly executed shot out of the rough. That is right at it. Same mistake I made on the third hole. I just made there. Had a decent birdie shot. Just missed the putt. Thought it was an easy tap in for par. And I'm rushing it. Oh boy. I didn't mean to do that. It rolled all the way up the hill and back down. I just hit it way too hard and got lucky. So I had that same putt yesterday and I came up probably three feet short. So today I said, oh, I'm not gonna come up short. So I hit it way too hard and got the luckiest roll ever. I stayed calm to make it look like it was all part of the plan. It wasn't like, oh, oh, no. Uh, yeah, ah. When people yell at their ball and it ends up being a good shot, they always look really foolish. So I try not to yell at my ball. Because I look foolish enough out here as it is. I don't need to look foolish on my good shots. Oh man, I got lucky right down the middle, but ugh, didn't feel comfortable. All right, another bogey. That is four bogeys and seven holes.
Okay. Marine's coming down now. So I'm right down the middle, but I am very short. I don't know if it's the temperature or what. This ball is not flying today off that driver face. All right, it is soggy and wet, and I am not getting any carry right now. I don't know if it's the weather, if it's my swing, if it's me wearing a jacket but everything's coming up crazy short. Even when I feel like I strike it okay. All right, let's see here. Focus, focus, focus. And where's the flag? Where's the flag? Oh, there it is. 